Whoa! 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 Are the characters sliding for you? Yeah, they were, bro. That was that was <laughs> trippy. That's, that's oh, they the they go, oh, they hit the go again. The S four is is uh, capsizing, bro. <laughs> Kodansha! Hi everybody, it's me, Dakazu. With me is Darfox. If, oh. if you can see these cards flipping over, I think you might have an idea what this game is. That's right! It's our boy, Kaiji. AKA Gambling Apocalypse Kaiji. This is a old, old video game for PlayStation 1, the original PlayStation. This game came out in 2000 under the title Gambling Apocalypse Kaiji. Dar, look at that, man. Look at the counter. Oh, man, look at this CG. Yeah, you know what's interesting about this is that this predates the anime series. So uh, these game developers basically are, are flying blind from the manga. This is directly based off the manga. Oh yeah. So all the music and all like the adaptation is, is all the game developers. And I wonder if the anime played this game, yeah, like the anime still played this game. Because like, some of the musical tone isn't that far off when you get in the anime. Oh my god, look at all these characters. I can't wait to meet them all. <laughs> I wonder if uh, the manga club drew these characters or if that was just the game that was like... ...having fun with all these, uh... ...Fukumoto likes. I mean, they look pretty good, so I want to say that Fukumoto did not draw them. It's hard to say. Oof. But here we are, man. Uh, I'm excited to play this. As soon as Dar Fox and I discovered this and we figured out how to get this running, we were like, we should record ourselves playing. Do a let's play of Kaiji. So this game is entirely in Japanese. But luckily, I am Japanese. Uh, my Japanese reading is not that good. There's a lot of heavy kanji. I'm probably going to get confused. So just know in advance if I get something wrong. I'm just trying to do my best. Okay. Yeah, let's look at the options. Oh, okay. One one thing about Japan is the yes button. And the yeah. X button is the no button. So. Oh, this is so cool. This uh, Under the options, you have the scenario chart. So at the top in the upper right, it says how many times you played one time. Oh my god, and it remembers. Like it knows like what you do. All the events of Kaiji and the um, restricted rock, paper, scissors gamble. gamble, Like the very first gambling game on the ship. Espo Noir, whatever the heck that is. That's, that's the ship, the bottom left right there. We don't play as Kaiji. Get started, check the rules, go back. We're just going to get started. Oh, remember how we... Uh, Dar and I did a little test play of this. Everybody saves it a little. It's asking us, hey, if you want to keep going, we're going to overwrite your save. So you can only have one save of this game at a time. No saves coming here, Dar Fox. <laughs> that is, of course, you know. Oh, man, look at all this text. Yeah, I, for I forgot about this intro. Okay. Basically, it says it's in the middle of the night. All you can hear around you is the heavy rain. Okay. 
It's, this is a first person perspective. This guy's saying, what am I doing here? That's right. I have an insane amount of debt and I can't clear it just by working normally. Why do I have the debt? I don't remember. It's convenient. Hum yeah, human brains are conveniently designed to forget about, like, hardships. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> yeah, this is well, our wait. intro. What's happening? It's not like I drank a lot and I'm drunk. It feels like I'm floating above the ground. What a weird sensation. Oh. oh, oh my goodness. Hands are coming out of the ground to drag me down. How imaginative. <laughs> it's the hands of death. He's like, I'm being sucked into the ground because they're so strong. Oh, 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 oh. what is this? Oh, this is our, this is where our choices are. So, I think this is going to determine what's going to happen with the main character that we play as. It says a man says something. A is, please help me. B is, thanks for helping me. I can let Darfox make all the choices here. So Dar, is it going to be, please help me, the man is saying, please help me, or the man is saying, thank you for helping me? A implies that, um, one, they need help, and two, they haven't received help. B implies they already received help. From so me. Let's, Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this you? The person, it says a male voice says, A, please help me, or B, thank you for helping me. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Sorry, I, I'm reading it wrong. B actually says, let me help you. Oh, okay. That changes it. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I read too fast. Let's go with A. We're we're groveling people. Okay. We're Kaiji likes. Whoa! I do not like that. Just leaving the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> that is disturbing. That didn't happen last time, did it? I don't know. Maybe we made a different choice. All right, a woman is saying something. A. I'm that woman from that time. B. I'm the woman that you killed. Whoa. Beast is fucking... I, <laughs> B says a lot. We have quite a, a pass if we say B. Uh, let's just do A. Okay, you're the, I'm the woman from that time. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> what is inside this coffin? Is it A, Kolkai? Mm, I guess the best way to translate that would be uh, regret. And B, Zetsubo. Oh, I guess that's like despair. I know what Zetsubo means. <laughs> like Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei? Yep. Let's, let's go B. Oh, you want despair? Okay. Yeah. Despair is in the coffin. Oh no! Damn, this bear needs some moisturizer. Oh, earphones. Uh, okay. What is the sound that brings forth this horrible memory? Put on the earphones and let's listen. You hear a sound from your right. Okay, that sounded like fighting, right, Darfox? Like someone getting punched? Yeah. 
You hear a sound from your open. left. Mm, so it's fight or flight. Is that what's happening here? I, it, that's what it, I think it is. Which it's, sound uh, brings forth this horrible memory? I think I'm. I think I'm creating a a, a groveling character, a cowardly character. So we gotta go with V. The running away reminds him of like something yeah. that happened that he ran away. Okay. He's groveling, but he's not groveling enough to. Uh... You know, actually, maybe the first choice we should have picked then would, should have been like the man saying, "I will help you." Okay. Anyway, this question is. You have to grab one of these first on your way to the ship. Is it A, the form for your participation, or B, your passport? What are we going to grab first, Star? No, uh, participation form. Okay. I wonder if that implies you just stole the participation form, because, like... B would prove your past, you know, who you are. Mm. Oh, interesting. It just gave kind of like why we owed the money. And it says like a life without meaning. You've never thought Check. seriously <laughs> about your life. Oh, yeah. Because you're so you haven't taken anything seriously. You've just ended up with this debt. Now with that debt has grown into an amount you can't return normally. And where you have arrived is... <gasps> There's no mistake. I've been walking here. What was I doing? Getting hit in the rain up till this point? The boat? Yes, I was looking for the boat. The espoir. I wonder if that actually like changes your scenario. Oh, dar dude. We know those guys in black suits. Where's Ebihara? Or is it Ebizawa? <laughs> the, the fuck up from like middle management blues anime. Okay. Anyway, it says there's three men in black suits. One of them hands me a file and says you're participating right please put your name down here oh here we go time to input our name okay we know what we're doing here English dark Fox. Perfect amount of, of uh, characters. What is your nickname? D A R Dar. All right, Dar. You know, we played through this beginning right here, and from this point on, it seems like we're just going to lead into the beginning of the, uh, this, like, what I'm saying is this is going to match, like, both the manga and the anime. Yeah, this is going to be just a regular setup and introduction to the storyline. Mm -hmm. This one, this right text here is repeating the fact that you're, you haven't been taking life seriously. It says you've made the promise to yourself to finally take things seriously. However, you started working at your new part-time job. Someone begged you to co-sign from a money launderer. Sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. And then he left... Uh, 300 million. Uh, how do I translate this? 
Let's take two away, so... 30,000. Appro approximately 30,000 US dollars worth of money and disappeared. Leaving God you damn. with the fucking debt. Blah, blah, blah. You can't pay it back. You're dealing with criminals. They're giving you this final chance to pay back everything by participating in this gambling game. They didn't mention anything about what will happen if you don't win. That can only mean one thing, but it's okay. Here's your final chance, blah, blah, blah. Prologue. Oh God, I can't, I can't fucking read that kanji. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Are the characters sliding for you? Yeah, they were, bro. That was that was <laughs> trippy. That's that's oh, the they water. Go, oh, they hit the go again. The S four is is uh, <laughs> capsizing, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, it's there me. you go. Hey, good. I'm the guy in the white uh, jacket. Center screen, very handsome. Mm -hmm. That's you, Dar Fox. So, so I guess you can't be a lady in this game. I do not think so. But based on the intro movie that we saw, there are ladies here, which I don't think was the case in the. Movie. Yeah, w w one of the things that we stood out to me, Kaiji, is just a bunch of miserable crying men. Like, there's not a lot of women in these situations. Oh man, that Woo! sliding is fucking. <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, a glitch or not. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember it from before, but we tried to up the graphical fidelity for this. I think that's messing with some things. We might mess around with this in the future to kind of fix it. We'll see if there's lasting repercussions. Oh. Here comes the money. Here money, comes. money, 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 money. <laughs> there's Shadow Mac on the left. Yeah. <laughs> back off! Back off! Oh, look at this dude. Oh, do you get? You remember this guy from the anime, Dar? He says he's from the bank. I don't remember this guy. He he's. He's right now speaking on behalf of Tehi, right? Or Tehi? Whatever the, the company was. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. You made me forget the name of the uh, company. Tehi? Or... Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, unfortunately. But he's basically out here saying, like, Hey, you're going to have to borrow money from us. So you can do this gambling game. The minimum that you can borrow is, let's see, the minimum that you can borrow is ten thousand around U.S. dollars, and the upper limit is a hundred thousand. Wait, is it ten to hundred? No, no, it's um, sorry. It's 10,000 to 100,000 within that range. Okay, so the evil company is called um, Tei. Okay, Tei. Yeah. It's supposed to mean Imperial Love. Yep, yep. Which is a very funny name for that company. Oh, yes. The Empire of Love. It's like, nope. They're evil. Evil, evil corporation that loves money. That loves fucking grinding people down for oh no reason. Oh my god, look at this interest rate. 3% for every 10 minutes. Oh, for Zawa. Yeah, because he was like, every 10 minutes you owe 3% interest on what you borrow. And the gambling game takes 4 hours. Like, based on that, like, you will owe almost twice as much as you borrow. That's right, and, like, it will be calculated from the moment you win the game and end it for yourself.
Okay, now we get to see some people borrow their money, Dar. Oh, that guy's borrowing 10,000. Oh, he said 100,000. Well, he didn't say his name first. He got yelled at, so now he's like, no, I guess I'll just borrow 10,000. He chickened out. <laughs> this guy chickened out. That's, that's a really big discrepancy. <laughs> Between the 10 and the 100? Yeah, it's like yeah. the minimum and the max. Uh, we know who that is. Funai. Oh, Funai, that piece of shit. <laughs> we can't trust that guy. Oh, dude. Oh, Kaiji's inside the... Oh, that's not Kaiji. Somebody's inside the table now. Yeah. This is me and Dar. You're thinking having the most money would be the most useful. Something about like the. <laughs> Who are you? Rolock. Dar. How That'd much do you I. want? Oh shit, I can choose. Am I choosing. You remember what Kaiji chose? Kaji chose wait, so, snacks. So wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Go all the way down. Is that less than the minimum? No, that's the minimum. Okay. Okay, never mind. Minimum is, uh, what is this? Yeah, so around ten thousand U.S. dollars. Okay. And then you can go yeah. up to a hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Yeah, I was hoping you could try and lowball them, and they just yell at you, be like. We just fucking told you the minimum was. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we doing half? Are we doing minimum? Are we doing max? Nah, that, let's go for broke. We're just gonna, we're gonna go for it, huh? We're gonna big brain these people, bro. I can't wait until our first playthrough ends with us <laughs> selling oh. our organs in the back. Oh, yeah. You know, we're going to the underground for sure. Fucking spoilers. <laughs> we're 100% going to the underground. I guess we should mention, like, I am already spoiling, but, like, if you haven't, if you don't know anything about Gambling Apocalypse Kaji, this is definitely going to spoil things that happen. Yeah, um, maybe experience it for yourself. Oh, there he goes. There's our boy. Our hero. Who are you? Hi. Kaiji Ito. Max. He took Max money. What, what do you think, Dar? Because we are not playing as Kaiji, do we try and take out Kaiji? I feel like if this game was made nowadays, there'd be an achievement for that. Oh my god, look at early manga fucking Tonegawa. He Welcome just looks... to the espoir. He looks like such a, like, old guy. I'm the Hall Master. Tonegawa. Let's see, explain how the ship left Tokyo at uh, midnight. He's gonna explain everything about what's happening. We're allowing a chance for youngsters to pay back their debt, blah, blah, blah. None of you can pay back your debts uh, with normal basis, blah, blah, blah. Basically, we're, he's here to set up like everything, explain how the gambling is gonna go and what the yeah, gambling he, game is. He, he gives the rules, but really just the bare minimum of the rules for you to like start. Yeah, he just said, open up that little package you got when you boarded like now you're looking at those cards like is this rock paper scissors Tony God was like surely you must understand we got cards with rock cards with scissors and cards with paper you have four of each open up your okay. other bag I got a, I got a qu okay okay I got a question what's up man but I'm gonna answer it again when the cards are on screen okay okay it might be a really stupid question, but... <laughs> oh, here comes Zawa. Okay, he just talked about this 
how like we have the cards and we're gonna try and get the stars from each other. Let's explain how you can win in this gambling game. As long as you maintain three stars, you will win. So, the cards that you have. Paper, rock, scissors. You must also use up all these cards. Oh yeah, that's right. You, you have to use all the cards up. I, I'm sorry, I said earlier like you have to get uh, three stars, but you have to get five stars total. So he's explained like even if you have five stars and you haven't used up all your cards, it does not count. Is it count five stars or, or you have to have the minimum of three stars? I thought it was... Is max five you stars? You, you can't have below three stars. At least I, I believe that's what it was in the manga. Okay, so that's why I was confused. Because he had said, even if you have five stars, if you don't, haven't used up all your cards. Okay, yeah, rules. yeah. So, you, so yeah, you could have twenty stars, but if but if you still have a card left, then you're automatically, loss. yeah, you're automatically like disqualified. Yeah. At least three stars and zero cards in your deck is the only way to like win. Yeah. And now he's saying like, if you have two or less stars at the end of the time limit, you will lose. Big rips. And if you lose all your stars while you're doing the gambling, even if you have cards left, you will lose automatically. So we can't lose our stars. We have to be above three stars at the end. And we have to use up all our cards by the time limit. Oh, here comes the demonstration. Demonstration? You remember in Mr. Tonegawa, they were explaining like how like a, an employee would be inside like this fucking yeah. box. Because for the reason they couldn't, they didn't have enough time or money to like put card readers, yeah, yeah, like chip in the cards <laughs> or something like that. So somebody's literally counting it and like radioing it, radioing in like what's being played. Yeah, and they're they're like, we feel bad for the person inside the box, so they they decked out their boxes to be like as comfortable as possible with Netflix inside. Hilarious. Yeah, I think hilarious. one of them had a cat cafe inside. Yep, yep. Just hanging out with kittens. Mm -hmm. Wow. Everyone should go watch Mr. Tonegawa Middle Management Blues. All right, they're explaining how you have to check your choice and then set your card down and then open to reveal who wins. All right, Dar, what was your question? Okay. You see how there's a C above the car or the cutting, yes, the yes. sword. There's a G above the rock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Why is there a G above the rock? Okay, that's because in Japanese, rock is goo, g g goo. So what is scissors? Choki. Ch Choki. Okay, yeah. so it's just a coincidence that it's C for cut. Yeah. I I thought it was like I thought it was like the verb. Yeah, and then and paper is pa. So, so it's also okay, P. another yeah. another coincidence. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's okay. I kind of figured that's, that's what you fun. wanted to ask when you were like, yeah. another question. <laughs> it's like, oh, I bet it's about that. Okay, they're explaining. You can choose how many stars to bet. This is the result of your bets. Stars were exchanged because of this. Continue doing this. He's explaining once, you use, on the it, once you use a card, it gets it gets put into these boxes, so you do not get a card back. You will never get that card back. Yeah, every card is once one use. And also, it's like cards that get used go into a counter display right there and gets used up. So what one thing about this game, Star Fox, that we realized when we did our test play is that timer, that four hour timer, constantly ticks down even when you're yeah. like paused. And going through like your notes or your strategies or whatever, so it's it's kind yeah. of ridiculous. We didn't play that far into it, but I think this might be like a run-based game, almost like a roguelike. Oh yeah, where you're supposed to play it over and over again and see if like how you can win and you know how well you can win. Absolutely. I expect us to lose like really badly at the game. <laughs> <laughs> we are just gonna, we're just gonna get screwed so bad. There's 81 participants, and so it says, like, that's the total number of, like, different types of cards right there, right? On the left, you have Goo or Rock. Center is Choki or Scissor. And P on the right is Paw or Paper. So we're going to use that counter to help us, like, make guesses on our bets as well. 
He's saying the number at the very top is the timer for the whole gambling. So I don't remember, but in the manga, Tonegawa gives like this big pep talk. Oh, he yeah. talks about like baseball stars and like you gotta be like this this uh, baller baseball star. <laughs> like, does he do that here? I don't, I don't remember. He has not done it yet. He has just explained all the rules. I guess we'll find out. Like, he, he tries to leave. That's what, he, that's what he says. Like, oh, wait, does he say fuck you in here? It's coming up. You're, oh, you're, we're boy. Getting you just jumped the gun, man. Come on. Yeah, bro. He's explaining, like, after you win and you got your stars, have one of, like, the men in suits double check everything, and then we'll lead you to, like, a different area. Or we'll wait for, like, the post game. Oh, there's the banker guy saying, like, oh, I wish you all the best of luck. Oh, no! <laughs> Dar, you're like, that. that's it? They didn't explain how to use the money. What happens when we lose? Oh, shit. Tonoga was like, let's begin! It's a battlefield. What's going on? Gotta calm down, Dar. Gotta calm down and think. Everyone must be nervous as well. Maybe I should check to see how everyone's going to act at the beginning. Oh shit, Dar. I, I think you're right. They, he doesn't make that speech. I thought it was coming up. Okay, we have some save options here. Save and continue. Save and end. Uh, download the pocket rock, paper, scissor. Oh, okay, yeah. I think this the, had like a downloadable the... thing. Yeah, the, the, the pocket station that you put in the memory card slot, but like, it, w it didn't have wide release in in English, please. Mm. In fact, I don't think it re got released officially, but like, you could import it and it'll work on some games. It was a bigger deal in Japan, I think. So, as it, the game just lets you play rock, paper, scissors on the go, I guess. Alright. So the main character is saying, like, there's gotta be something behind this restricted rock, paper, scissors rule. Some kind of trick that's going to give me an advantage. Number one. Chapter one. Oh. Udawaza, which means, like, extra trick. Oh, shit. Speaking of tricks. Here comes Funai. Yep, he's like, I'm Funai. Let's talk. Okay, look at that timer thing tick down already. We've already lost two minutes, Dar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> He's like, I'm a repeater. A repeater. I've done this before. There's other people who have done this gambling before. Look at me. Look at you, Dar. You're like, that, that's fucking unfair. We can't be having that. He's like, we don't got time. Let me explain everything. He's like, I've done this gambling before, which means I've won before. How do you plan on winning? Dar, you're like, I'm going to use my luck. He's like, you're an idiot. Fnai just called you an idiot, Dar Fox. He's explaining, like, this idea that he has. After four hours, your money is going to be doubles. This game has a little trick that you can pull. Oh shit. He just explained his trick of like having pulling out the same card and then using up all your cards so you just save all your stars. You gotta have a partner to do this. It's like, do you wanna partner with me? So in the original series, he partners with, he brings this idea to Kaiji, and Kaiji agrees and gets fucking screwed. So you know Funai is going to screw us. Alright, he's explaining how the suits won't let us cheat. Uh, he won't let us, like, switch cards. He says he's going to, like, put out, like, a paper first. 
he wants us to pull out a just like screw Funai back and then he screwed us again. Yeah, like the the computer as he knew we were trying to screw him. So the idea is we'd throw paper, right? But he's gonna throw we were like, oh I screwed up and he's gonna throw like a scissor. We were trying to screw him back by throwing a rock and then he threw a paper. So I remember the first time we tried to screw him, we threw like the rock and he threw a paper. What if we throw a scissor? Oh, to not like double, yeah. I think we're still gonna lose. Yeah. But like, let's try something different because last time, the first time we tried, like we didn't record this obviously, so it's not here, but we tried throwing the rock. And then he threw the paper. He's like, "Ah, oh, you thought you could trick me, but I outplayed you." So let's try and let's try and only outplay him out one level by throwing. We're gonna. We, he told us to throw a paper. If we throw a paper, he's gonna throw a scissor. So what if we throw a scissor to match that? Oh, got to bet one star. Check. Set. Open. <gasps> yep. He's like, you betrayed me. Like, oh, he read me. Is it because he's a repeater? No. He read us because the computer cheats. Fuck you, computer. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, shit. He called us a novice. I can tell what card you're gonna play by looking at your face. I ain't gonna continue anymore. Oh, look at this asshole. He's like, as long as you don't betray me, I wouldn't betray you. Look, this asshole's like, all right, in that case, if you wanna try again, I will put out scissors so you put out rock. Then it'll be the same. Oh shit! Oh shit, our stats went down. That red text right there, it says your intuition went down by three. By three? Three points? <laughs> okay. I tried to betray this guy by throwing scissors, and he read me. Now this time he says, if you throw a rock, he'll throw a scissor. But he's a repeater. He'll read my, if I try to play, do something weird, he'll like betray me. Okay. Can I truly believe him? Okay. So, Dar, I don't know if you remember what happened last time was... So he's telling us, throw a rock, right? I'll throw a scissor so like we can equal that out and I'll give you my star back. This fucker is lying. He's a lying bastard. If we throw a rock, he's going to throw a paper. What if we just threw scissors again? Because he's going to throw a paper, right? Screw I think it's... I think it's going to screw us no matter what. No, because last time... Okay, this is what happened last time. Last time, we, he said, throw a rock and I will throw scissor. But we knew if we threw a rock, he was going to throw a paper, right? We threw a paper instead, and it was a tie. We didn't mm, lose the second okay. star. So what I'm saying, what if like he's going to throw a paper again no matter what, and we just threw a scissor, and this time we actually win? What do you think? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Let's try scissors. It's a little convoluted and a little hard to follow. But let's see what happens. Check. I love how you can't skip this at all. <laughs> like on purpose that this is slow down. Set! <gasps> we won! Dar! Oh wow. Holy shit! 
Holy shit, we fucked Funai. I feel so good. Fuck you, Funai. Look at him. He's like, Gah. Oh, man. And you're like, hmm, a draw. Dog, you're like, I'm not satisfied, but neither are you, right? If we go up against each other again, take it easy on me. <gasps> hey. Our intuition went up by three points. Oh, we're back to where yeah. we were. We're back to where we are. I like that music, too. Yeah, victory music feels good. <laughs> nice. Walked away is like... <laughs> Just like I thought. Yeah, whatever, dude. You thought you were gonna play me, and I fucked you. The only sh shitty thing about this dart is we used up two of our scissor cards. So we only have two scissor cards left. Oh, that's right. We just learned the strategy of, like, getting rid of cards through, like, uh, draws. We can pick the strategy. Yeah, once the strategy is picked, you'll use it in the battle. Shall I explain yeah, about I was, using strategies? Yes. I was wondering if the game like is always reading your your cards, and whether or not you're using the right strategy or not is how how it dictates you winning or not. Is what so, I was thinking maybe the game would be like. So this is pick a card just with intuition. This is just us guessing, right? And this is g getting rid of cards through drawing. All right, why don't we... Uh, I just picked getting rid of cards through drawing strategy. Hmm, okay. So this card strategy, this draw strategy, it says you have to have three stars and 12 cards. We don't have 12 cards anymore. If we do this, then we can get rid of all our cards and keep our stars. However, Unless you agree to do this without betraying each other, you can just continually match cards. Oh yeah, we did this. He said even if we don't have cards that match, we can still do this. Remember we did this thing about pick what card we're gonna use. So rocket versus rock and paper versus paper will mean there'll be draws. Yeah, remember we did this? It gives you a little test to make sure you understand the strategy. How shall we do this? Pop quiz. Yeah, pop quiz hot shot. Oh no. I got that one wrong. So we have to do rock versus scissor. And then rock versus paper. That way, you win that one, but you lose that oh, one. Oh, yeah. The star goes back. So it is not a draw of draws. It's coming out even. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it's it's testing you. Can you make sure you come out even? That's going to be a draw. And then we have paper versus rock and then paper versus scissors. Everyone ends up with equal cards. It's interesting uh, tutorial. It really wants to make you understand the concept. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the other one. Picking cards just based on like intuition. Oh, it. I do not have to do. What you call it? Okay, what should I set it as, Dar? Should we pick by intuition or pick? Try to find someone to do like our strategy of like using up cards. What do you think? I think the the use of card strategy is a flawed strategy. Okay. So it's it's what it's way too dangerous. So we're just gonna go with intuition for now. Yeah, for now. Gotcha. 
Hey, you. You're Mr. Dar, right? Who's that? Who's calling my name? <gasps> Dar, you get to react. You get to interact with your hero. Kaiji. Miserable, miserable Kaiji. Oh, shit. <laughs> this, this, the blue text is like your line, like the main character's line that you're playing. And there, he's like, is this guy gonna screw me? Try and screw me like Funai did. <laughs> so, uh, you borrowed money to the max level. You're Mr. Ito Kaiji. Oh, you remember my name? What do you want with me, Mr. Kaiji? You were doing something with Funai, right? He talked about using up your cards with draws, right? How did you know, Kaiji? I can think, I can understand and I know what guys like Funai think of. Do you know Funai? He's a repeater. <gasps> Are you a repeater too? Never mind about that. I'm here to give you a warning. Don't believe everything you hear. You won't last. You're risking all your life on this gamble. Oh, he's saying like, saving somebody can put you at ultimate risk. Trusting in somebody, believing in somebody is a fool's errand. You'll just be used. Only believe in yourself. Believe in your own strength. I see. So that, I guess that means you and I are also enemies. That's right. Wait, wait. Who's been saying this? Kaiji's been saying that to us. And we just said, I guess you and I are enemies then. He's like, that's, uh, that's weird. That's like not necessarily a philosophy in the manga. With that fight against Funai, you must have noticed. This rock, paper, scissors isn't based on luck at all. In fact, winning just by luck is impossible. Only the ones who understand this will win. Ah, I see, Kaiji. It's deeper than it seems. That's right. This is a game about realization. You might realize new strategies as you go along. It will all be up to how you use these strategies. Holy shit, dude! Look at the timer in the bottom right! We've used up an hour! Yep. Uh, we haven't been sitting here an hour, not yet. That's all I can say. By the way, I feel something close to you, Mr. Dar. We may be enemies. But take care. See you later. You bought my manga off Denpen. <laughs> or Denpa. Okay. Oh, somebody else is coming up to me. Oh. I think all of the pedestrians are like not synced correctly on the floor because that guy walked through the table. Yeah, we might mess around with some settings to see and get this game running a little better. All right. You're thinking to yourselves. We're alike in many ways. All right, I'm gonna do a quick save scum state. We, I, I think we should. Uh, chat. Oh yeah, you're shifting everybody. Ooh, yeah, this boy. is. Uh, we might need I to think uh, should, mess around. Yeah, yeah. I think you should challenge somebody so that we can get like a full, full like match. an actual like oh, match. My gosh. Yeah. Oh my! Look at this. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's let's find somebody. Oh, talk option. 
Oh, he's like, I have nothing to save with you. Hmm. Oh man, scrolling up for these chugs. Oh, this guy looks old. He's got two stars. He's on the verge. He's like, oh, my life, I'm so unlucky. <laughs> By the Thank way, I, uh, I made a save state right when we finished talking with Kaiji, so... We can talk or we can just fucking fight. Talk, talk. Let's let's get in his brain. All right. We can talk about okay, people, the rules, or gossip. Let's, let's ask him. Oh, he. This guy is saying there was a man with glasses who was watching other people's play. He wasn't doing any gambling by himself. He was a strange guy. Guy with glasses. Is that is Ando? I don't... Impossibly. Is Ando observing for... Because remember, there's a part where Kaiji says, go observe people that have, like, certain amount of cards. Hmm. Like, we, we gotta... Or if anybody plays a certain amount of cards, we, we gotta, like... Because they were trying to figure out who had uh, all the, like... Papers, I think it was. Right, right, right. Okay, um... What's he saying? Tonegawa san said, if you have less than two stars when the time runs out, you'll be sent somewhere else. But it sounds like there's a way to get out of that. A way to escape? Oh, he's talking about how even after the time limit runs out, you can just buy stars off of people who have, who have extra stars. Which is something that happens at the end of the gambling. Hmm. Okay, so now we learned that. But buying those stars aren't cheap. Okay. Let's uh, gossip. He was working in a small town. Uh, but his factory, like, went bankrupt. He needs money. Are we going to challenge this guy? Yes. You want to play me? It's like, yeah, I guess I can try. Are we going to do the draw technique? Or are we just going to pick by intuition? Intuition, I think. I feel like it's going to make us lose. Oh man, the text just said like, I can't read him at all. It doesn't matter what I pick. Oh no. Uh, I might as well pick a cards that we have a lot of. Check. It looks like going into this without, like, thinking about what we're doing is, like, a bad idea. So, like, talk to everybody for a oh, while. Oh, I won! And get... Oh, we won! Wait, what? But, but the text said, like, it doesn't matter what I pick. The result. Oh, yeah, be... yeah. It, it doesn't matter in the sense that, like, it's, it's all, like, luck. Oh. See, this guy doesn't understand anything. Because he doesn't have a strategy, we're able to win, even though we're just picking by luck. Do you want to send him to the underground? I mean, like, even though we won, the text said, it's it, we're not going to be able to keep this up. Oh, it won't let you? Oh, hello. Oh, this guy. This guy's like, no, please forgive me. What's happening? Oh, shit. Is this the guy who lost all his stars, or is this the guy who was trying to get rid of his cards in the toilet? Because that's something that happened, right? Yeah, I think he lost the stars. Okay. But I think the toilet guy comes later. You sure? Uh, that guy gets like... Okay, he's saying like, looks like he lost all his stars. Man, based on that, there's no way I, I can lose. Okay, well, we want to start off of Funai. Oh shit, we can save again. 
I guess the answer is yes. Then win with Funai. We want to start off with this guy. We're up to four stars. We still have to get rid of. Let's get rid of Dark. Not bad for our, like our first one. Do you want to call it here? Yeah, let's call it. Whoa, hello. What is this? I think we're getting into chapter two. Is that the guy with glasses who was watching everybody? Oh, maybe, yeah. Mm, okay. I guess we pick up here next time. Yeah, I think so. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed us playing this. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. And uh, we'll be back for part two later. Bye-bye. And we'll go for a big Zawa! <laughs> Zawa!